Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a house tour. I do tend to get asked to share my house a lot, which of course I love. I love sharing home decor with you guys and it's really fun to chat with you guys on just like different aspects of the home. Um, but I am not quite finished yet and I feel like everyone who owns a house is always gonna say it is not done yet. But I figured if I waited until the house was completely done, then I would never show you guys. So I figured I'd make this kind of like a series. So every year I'd like to show you an updated house tour. So I'm gonna start with this one. We have done a lot since we moved in last April, I think is when we moved in. So um, there's a lot to show you guys in this updated house tour. The tour that I did of this house right before this one about a year ago was an empty house tour when we just um, bought the house and just moved in so I'll link that one down below so this is kind of the first of many um, updated house tour I do have to mention that we don't have a ton of furniture right now we have ordered quite a bit um, there's a few bigger pieces that we're waiting on but as I'm sure most of you guys know there's so many pieces are back ordered right now that it's taking months just to get one thing so we're waiting on some furniture and then of course I need to order some furniture I just take my time with these things. It's kind of therapeutic for me to look through all the options and then make a decision later. So yeah, there's a lot of empty space, which I do love empty space. You guys know that I'm more of on the minimal side when it comes to home decor. Um, but there are some definite spaces that we're gonna fill in later. So if you guys are interested in seeing a current house tour of what our house looks like today, then keep watching. Okay, you guys, I figured it might be easiest to holds the camera and walk around. I tried to film this on a tripod and I felt like I was blocking things I was trying to show. So I'm gonna show you guys the entryway first. There's literally not much going on here yet. Um, if you see the green tape on the door, we plan to paint the outside of the door black, just like we have done on the inside. Um, what I did differently on this house is we took the black all the way up the trim. So basically, I wanted the door to look oversized and extra big because before it was just the door painted one color and then everything else was painted white. So the door just looks like a normal sized door, but now I feel like it looks so much bigger and it has like a bigger impact, which I think is really cool. So if you have a door similar to this at your house, a way to make it feel more grand and just more... I don't know if expensive is the right word, but just like bigger, a bigger impact. You can take your paint all the way up the trim and just make it look like an extra big door. So the other thing, I'm gonna flip around so you're not staring at me the whole time. So this is the current setup that we have in here. We just got this Ikea piece a few months ago. Um, we used to have kind of a cool antique like console table right there. I went to Ikea and just got this Besta unit. It's like the three compartment Besta unit. And I feel like this looks so perfect in this space because it matches the black in the door. Um, I do have a custom mirror that I'm working on currently to go above this space. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been working on this custom mirror and I finally got a price for it, just a quote, and it didn't actually seem that bad. So I might be going in that direction. I still have to decide if I want that versus all the other options that I've been designing here. So we'll see, but so far the mirror is in the lead. Um, I got this branch the other day, you guys, and I realized it's a little too long for this face, and I asked Taylor to help me cut the bottom off, and he hasn't yet, so <laughs> I just have it there for now, so just bear with how long that thing looks, but um, I don't trust myself with a chainsaw, so I'm just going to wait until he gets back, but it is a live branch. I think it's so pretty. It has these um, flowers on it. I have a few more branches in the other room, which I'll show you in a bit, but I did get this at a wholesale place here in Atlanta called Cut Flowers, and it was kind of expensive for branches, but I mean, I feel like it just adds so much. Not this one. The other one actually looks better, so I'll show you that in just a second. But let's go into the main room. guys into I'm calling this our formal living room um, just I don't know why I came up with that name but that's what we're calling it 
So we, oh, I wanted to mention before I move on, we did get our floors completely redone and I get asked about these floors, probably one of the most things I get asked about. So on this first floor, we refinished these. These are um, white oak hardwood and we used two coats of Bona Nordic seal. Um, basically they sand it all down and then they use two coats of Bona Nordic seal and then we have a matte poly on top. And the guys who did it, it's a, a business here in Atlanta called Peach State Hardwood. They did such a good job, you guys. Like, let me show you this vent over here. Like even down to the detail work, I just feel like everything looks so clean and so minimal. They really surpassed everything that we wanted. They even, we, they worked with our staircase guys. So we had a separate company install the staircase. Had to install new treads. So this, the wood right here. Um, and then obviously like a new handle. And so they worked with our staircase guys to make sure that the handle and the floor is all matched. So you guys know I love when there's less color switch up. So we just did it that way. I also just wanted to show you guys the end of these stairs, which I thought was really cool how we decided to end it. I actually saw this on Pinterest and I was like, if I have to do open rails like this, I really love how the railing goes all the way down to the end and they did it for us and it looks great. So I'm very happy with it. A few other things I wanted to mention, um, this Ikea Besta unit we get asked about a lot. Um, I did a whole video YouTube post on it and how we installed it. We are not professionals by any mean for installation. This is exactly what we wanted for this space. I love how it's floating, so it kind of feels like it's not taking up space on the floor. Um, you don't see any cords. We had all the cords go through behind the wall and into the unit which I can show you. So all the cords are back there. So it just looks very clean and I love how modern and minimal it looks. I feel like I'm gonna say modern minimal a million times in this video. We just got this couch in the other day also and I feel like it fits this space perfectly. Um, I have this vision of one big couch room which I know sounds kind of crazy um, because we have another living room that has a big couch too which I'll show you in a second. but. I just feel like if we were to turn this into a true formal living room um, and we didn't have a TV or maybe the TV was somewhere else or smaller, we would never use this room. So I really wanted this room to be a space where we could have friends and family over for big events like Christmas or just, like holidays or even just like friends over for like a game night where everyone could have a sit, like a seat to sit. It was comfortable. It was like an easy place to go to. So that was kind of like the vision for this room. Um, but we do actually use this room or we have been using this room uh, more than this other room, mainly because we just got the couch and we love the couch. It's so comfortable. Um, the couch is from West Elm. It's the Harmony Sofa. I'll link it below. It's a very good couch. It comes in a bunch of different fabrics. This one is a performance fabric. Um, and it's not a pure white. It has kind of like a little bit of a texture in it, which I think is great because we want Hobbs to be able to get on it. And you know, dogs are messy and he has black hair. And so far everything still looks pretty good. And before I move on to the dining room, people ask about this coffee table as well. It's from Bassett Furniture. It's older and it's no longer available. It's called the Peninsula if they do bring it back, but I haven't been able to find it. So that's what that's called. All right, let's move on to the dining room. Okay, so here is our dining room. Again, very minimal modern, not a lot going on here. Um, we did get some curtains that we're gonna hang up, but they're just gonna be sheer so that we can still filter the light. Um, which honestly we probably want to keep them closed because it's not like we need privacy. You can't really see us through the window and we're kind of on a secluded street. Um, Hobbs, I feel like if you just, if you hear him snorting and prancing around, just ignore him because I can't silence that. So sorry. <laughs> so a few main things just I want to point out in here is this dining table. I also get asked about this often. Taylor actually refinished this one for us. Our, his parents gave us a hand-me-down dining table and it was kind of traditional, like it had different legs that were very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, 
like chiseled like it had lots of like grooves and lots of detail to the legs so we took the legs off and we put in these basically just got some wood and made these little like u-shaped items like u-shaped legs and attached them to the top so that's what we did for the legs and then we sanded everything down and painted it black. This is tricorn black by Sherwin Williams, and then of course sealed it with a poly on top. Um, the other thing that I thought was really helpful in bringing this more into a modern feel that we shaved the sides off. So they used to have beveled edges and it was very curvy and like not very angular. So we shaved the sides off about like a half an inch on every side to make it more angled. And then of course we sanded it so it's not like too pointy if that makes sense so if you have an old dining table and you want to make it more modern honestly just change the legs to just like straight legs and then shave the sides off and then refinish it and you're good i have a mirror over here because the lighting is so good sometimes i like to just you know take some pictures in it whatever that's what i do um, and then this piece is actually really cool. So I got this at a vintage store here in Atlanta called Atlanta Used Furniture. And I'm just in love with it. I love that a vintage piece is unique in the fact that it's older. Um, it's not something you can buy just like at Ikea or like Target or whatever. I do plan to do something with this canvas, by the way. It won't look like that. Um, my husband is, dri I'm driving him crazy because I haven't done anything with it yet. And he's like, I want stuff on the walls. Um, but you know me, I don't really like stuff on the walls, so this looks good to me. <laughs> Which, I know you guys, I'm crazy. Like, who else is out there like that, that just loves nothing over something that's, like, so distracting? Because I think I might be one of the only ones, but who knows. Alright, so let's go this way. Um, before we go into my bedroom area... I wanted to show you guys I found this travertine and it is pure travertine like it's super heavy I cannot lift this myself Taylor has to lift it um, but it actually was the base of a table it comes with like a glass but I really liked it just as a pedestal I'm likely gonna put it as a side table to the chair that we get right here um, but I just put it right here cuz I I don't know wanted to put something right here and then of course some fresh flowers from cut Atlanta just to brighten the mood for this video that I'm feeling filming so let's go into my bedroom before in the bedroom I'll just share this powder room we have only painted obviously and done the floors in here but other than that it still has like the old gold hardware and yeah not much has been done in here Moving in here, this is our bedroom. Um, honestly, there's not too much to say. We haven't really decorated this room either, um, just because we have other rooms that we'd rather get to first. But we do have a rug, which is from Rugs USA or Wayfair. I'm not sure. I'll link it below, but it's just a jute rug and it's very inexpensive. So if you're looking for an easy go-to rug, this is a good one. I don't personally love jute just because it's not super comfortable to walk on, but it does look good and it's um, very durable. So if you're looking for that, then I will link it below. Right, bed frame, very minimal modern. This is from Ikea. Our sheets are parachute, and then of course I have a new body pillow because I'm pregnant and I live with that thing. I absolutely need it every single night, but it does take up a lot of the bed, I feel like. Side tables are from Overstock, and then we have Hobbs' bed. This is where Hobbs sleeps. I, we used to, he was kennel trained, and we used to have him sleep in his kennel at night, but now it's kind of nice, like when you say we're going to bed, like we all go to bed in the same room so he sleeps right there sometimes he wakes up in the middle of the night and tries to get in our bed which I tell Taylor not to let him because then he'll cry and Taylor lets him anyway so last night he kept us up crying because he wanted to get in the bed but we're trying to train him just to sleep on his bed all right on to the master bathroom <music> This is our 
master bathroom. We have not renovated in here at all. We haven't even painted. Um, the only thing that we did do is switch out the handles to these black modern handles. Our entire house we actually switched to these style handles, which are also pretty inexpensive. I'll link them below. I couldn't decide on what I wanted for handles, and I feel like I didn't really care that much, and Taylor chose these ones. I think they're only like 20 25 a handle, I want to say. Some of them are. I don't know. I'll have to link them below. But, which is actually super inexpensive compared to the ones that I was looking at, which is like $100 a handle. So, if you're looking to change out the hardware in your house, I feel like these are a really good minimal option that are also super budget friendly. Uh, there's really not much else to say in here because we have not done anything in here. Um, but I am grateful that it is not pink or some weird color. This is exactly as it came. And it's all pretty much white and neutral, which you guys know is 100% my thing. So... I'm fine to live with this for now. We do plan to redo this probably in a few years because right now it doesn't bother me that the bathroom looks like this. Um, I know that once you have kids, people say your bathroom becomes like a safe haven and we are gonna have kids soon. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in this video, so if you haven't been watching or following along, we are 22 weeks pregnant. So soon we'll be having a little baby girl. We're calling her Shay. Shea Victoria Wisted, which we're really excited about. But anyways, that's just like a side rant. We probably won't redo this until a few years later because it doesn't bother me at all. Taylor's fine with it too. So yeah, let's go into the closet. So here is our master closet and I am so grateful for all this space. Obviously, I like clothes if you haven't noticed. I feel like a lot of people like clothes, um, but it's really, really nice to be able to have the space to actually organize it and not like cram everything together. So I'm just gonna quickly show you in here because we haven't really done anything in here either, but it did come with these really awesome like shelving units. And of course I have my step stool because I'm really short um, and can't reach up high. So this is it, that's my closet, let's move on. So now we're in the kitchen. So we also have not redone this kitchen. I'll quickly mention that's our pantry, which is really nice. It has a lot of storage, um, but I'm not gonna show you in there because it's really messy. <laughs> we need to definitely clean that out. Um, and then that's our garage. And then we have a little coat closet right there. But if you come into the kitchen, we again got pretty lucky that everything was already white and not some crazy color, some crazy distraction. So all we've done in here is paint this center island black. It used to be a wood color, but it was like orange, orange wood. Like this is a little bit orange, but like that had been like very orange. So all we did in here was paint that black and then we painted this hardware black as well. It was silver, so I don't know. It just all matches now. But this is one area that we 100% want to renovate. I wanted to do it when we first moved in, but I, the way we want to do it, it's going to be a full gut. <laughs> um, I just want to wait for that. I want to save up some money. I want to feel good about what we're doing, and I don't want to have to like cut corners because the budget isn't where it's at. So. We are going to wait on the kitchen for a bit, but like I said, it's white, so it could be worse. It has a lot of space, a lot of storage, and I'm very grateful. If you go over here, that's our laundry room. I'm not gonna show you in there because that's also super dirty. Um, this is our kitchen table area, and Taylor was making fun of me that I arranged these chairs in a circle, but our kitchen table is something that's been on back order, and we keep getting delay notifications. So there should be a table right there, but there's not. And then I need to get a light fixture as well. Moving on to our den area. This is what we're calling our den area and it's basically just an informal living room 
Um, I'm sure we'll be taking over with kids stuff whenever we have our babies, but right now we just have it kind of like a darker, hold on, Hobbs, you're okay. <laughs> There's nothing over there. Hey. There's nothing over there, you're fine. Anyway, as I was saying, this is kind of more of the informal, like do whatever you want in this room <laughs> because the other room's obviously very light and has a lot of white in it. Obviously there's some white in here as well, but this rug we've had for like three or four years now, I'm not sure. So we don't really care as much about this rug. So yeah. We painted the fireplace black, which I have saved in a vlog, and it's also on, um, I think I put it on my Instagram highlight and our home reno highlight. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is this room is painted slightly darker than the other rooms. The other rooms are white, and this color is um, like a beige gray color. So you can, what I like about it is like it's a neutral tone, so it could be, you could put warm tones in here like um, browns and tans and stuff like that, or you can keep it more cool tone, which is what we have now, which is like the grays. Um, so it's a very versatile color. We, so we painted it, it's, um, what's it called? Benjamin Moore Collingwood is what it's called. Um, we did even paint these shutters the same. So everything is monochrome in this room. So the shutters are the same color um, as the trim, as the walls and we even painted the hinges. So all that we did different um, paint-wise is the trim and the shutters and everything are a semi-gloss, I believe, and then this is a satin or eggshell. So not quite matte, but you can still clean it. No, actually, no, we did do matte. I think we did do matte on the walls for Benjamin Moore, because apparently you can still clean the matte walls for the Benjamin Moore paint, so that's what we did matte here and then um, semi-gloss on the trim and everything. Not really much else to say in here. We do use the fireplace quite a bit. Um, it is January, so it's kind of fun to put a fire on. Um, I did just get these branches. These are the other ones I mentioned from Cut. I'm not a huge fan of open shelving, so the styling on that is bothering me just a bit, but I did try and put some stuff out just so it wasn't empty, um, but that might change soon. It's just not a priority at the moment. So these chairs are from Frank Gate. I will link them below. I will link this rug below. It's a very popular white rug choice. Um, very easy. It does shed a little bit at the beginning when you first have it, um, but once it's it stops shedding after a while. I mean, it still sheds a little bit, but it's not as bad as the beginning, but I like this rug a lot, so I recommend it. This couch is from a wholesale place here in Atlanta called The Dump, which I know is a very weird name. I don't know why they named it that, but... Um, one of my friends has this exact same couch, um, but she got it from a different wholesale place. So I assume they sell them at wholesale places around the U.S. This little side table is from Pottery Barn. Okay, let's go upstairs. every day um, if you didn't already know I do still have a full-time corporate job so I still work full 40 hours a week here I have my super nerdy double screens but it's so necessary if you know any of you guys deal with a lot of data and just processing contracts and stuff like that it's very necessary to have dual screens I also shoot quite a bit of content in here for um, other brands so this window is so bright. So this window and the window downstairs, which directly underneath us is the dining room, have the best natural light and it makes me so happy, especially when I'm having to sit in here um, eight hours a day and work. It's just honestly natural light just like truly changes my mood. I'm sure some of you guys could agree with that. I'm really grateful for this window and I also love to stare out of it and watch things go along in our neighborhood. So yeah, I'm a little nosy, I guess you could say. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this mirror is one of my favorite mirrors. It's from Ikea. It's only like $150, I think. Um, and it's huge. I feel like it's like wider than most mirrors. So it's just really oversized and it has like the minimal frame, 
which is really great. So I moved this around, it is super heavy. And I will say if you have kids to be careful because my niece came over one time and literally just like poked the bottom of it and it almost fell on her. So I might have to figure out a way to secure this once we have kids, but it's a great mirror other than that. And yeah, it looks really great, sleek and minimal. This couch is from Wayfair. It's actually super old. Taylor bought this a few years ago for his office. Um, and I actually made fun of him for it, which is kind of funny. It's one of those ones that is a futon, so these two parts go down if you wanted somebody to sleep on it. But it's very stiff and uncomfortable. Um, but I actually really like the way it looks. Now, isn't that funny? Taylor actually has really good taste. Um, and then this awesome table is a Maitland, a Maitland Smith style table. And I got it for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're looking for a table like this, I swear I see them pop up quite often on Facebook Marketplace, so you can just keep looking there. And that's it for my office. I keep it very minimal in here, like no walls. I mean, there's like nothing on the walls because, I don't know, shooting is just easier to have a blank wall than having something on it. So yeah, that's about it in here. And this is the Jack and Jill bathroom that we have that goes into the nursery, which we'll go in just a second. Um, we have not done anything in here. This is like our next, I guess, bigger project, um, other than home decor related projects. We haven't done any touch-ups in here, so I don't know if you can tell the difference. Oh, here is probably a good idea. Um, this is what all of the white trim in our house used to look like. It was like this yellow, and I swear it's not even just because of the lighting in here. Like, I don't know, hold on, let me see if I can bring it forward to show you. So this is even with like some natural light on it, but it literally was this dingy yellow, I don't even know what you call this color, it's so terrible. So we've literally repainted every single piece of trim in this house except for in this bathroom and then the guest bathroom, which I'll show you in a bit, um, to this white. And we used Sherwin-Williams alabaster around the entire house. It's the only white we have in our house except for our ceilings. We did not repaint the ceilings so the ceilings are just like a standard ceiling white. Um, but we love the Sherwin Williams alabaster. It's also like a neutral white so there's no cool tones or warm tones. You can do either or with it and it's more of a muted white so it's not like in your face bright white which I know some people want that. Our old house was actually the pretty bright white. We used Chantilly lace but I really love like a muted white these days. So we went with Sherwin-Williams Alabaster for our paint. This is what it looked like. Terrible, I don't know why, or maybe it's just faded over the years, but if somebody picked this color out, I'd be shocked. Um, and then we have to replace all these. Of course, these are the hardware I was showing you earlier. This is what it looked like before. Every door had this hardware, the gold, old school builder's grade hardware, but we've upgraded, thank goodness. Okay, so Jack and Jill, part of the bathroom. And this is our nursery. There really is not anything in here because we just started putting things together um, yesterday. I think Taylor built this literally yesterday. He, I woke up, it was um, Martin Luther King Day yesterday, it was Monday, so we both had work off. And um, I slept in a little bit and woke up and this was fully built. And I almost started crying, it was just so sweet, number one, that he surprised me with the built crib. But number two, like to have, I don't know, just to have a crib in your house is just makes everything, like, I don't know, it just brings up so many feelings, like how excited we are to have this baby. So yeah, it's like really exciting. The crib is from Target. It converts to a toddler bed, which I thought was really cool. So I'll link that down below as well. My boss got us this, it's the Mamaru. Apparently people love this thing for their children. So I'm very grateful for that. And then this will be our baby girl's closet. We already have some clothes and just some stuff that I need to put away when we have furniture. All right, let's move on. This is our guest bedroom. And again, there's not a lot in here just because Furniture is being ordered for other parts of the house since we don't tend to have a ton of guests staying over. 
Um, this is also Taylor's office. So he works from home. Well, he was working from home full time during COVID, but now he is going back into the office. He's in the office today, which is why I'm filming because he's not in the house making a bunch of noise and I'm not bothering him because I'm asking him to be quiet every two seconds. Um, but yeah, so he works from home and sometimes, and this is our guest bedroom. I don't really even know what else to say about it. These pieces are from Ikea, both of these and the chair. And we have another mirror. I feel like having a full length mirror for your guests is so important because I always want one when I'm traveling. So yeah, put a full length mirror and then they have a closet, which we just have storage stuff in here and a bathroom which is another bathroom that we have not done anything to. It still has all the gold hardware that we will be replacing sometime soon. Um, last thing that I wanted to show you guys is this hallway. I have these oversized prints. These frames are from Ikea. The mat boards are custom and the pictures in them are from your social print studio, I think is what it's called. I will link that below. But I did do a video and a reel on this actually because I get asked about these all the time. This is like the one thing I do have hanging up on walls. I just think you should have like some pictures of your family. So we kept them here. First of all, this is when Hobbs is a little tiny baby. His paws were so big. You don't know if you can tell. My friend Allie shot that and I just love that photo so much. And then of course, Taylor and I's wedding day which was one of the best days of my life. It was so fun. And then just Taylor and I. Soon this will be a family photo with our baby. Okay, so I'm not, there's not really much else that I can or should show you, I guess, that you'd be interested in. We do have a basement downstairs, but it's completely unfinished and there's just stuff everywhere. There is like a mini gym down there because Taylor's, one of Taylor's like, I guess passions is working out. So he has like a little, I don't even know what you call those things. Like a, I'm just not even going to pretend to know what I'm talking about, but he has like dumbbells down there and he has like a little set where you can put the barbell on, I think is what you call it. Um, and he's like a bench and stuff like that. So he has that down there and we have a treadmill, which I use. I, um, when I'm working on, I do the treadmill. I like to walk on an incline, especially now that I'm pregnant. I don't do a lot of, um, high intensity training. It's a lot of more low intensity just because I don't know, I get nervous like doing crazy workouts pregnant. I know it's probably safe, but I would rather do it with somebody who knows what they're doing than me just doing it just because that's what I've always done. Um, so the basement unfinished, I'm not going to show you. And then we have a backyard, which is also terrible and completely an eyesore. I talk about it all the time, but I am so grateful that we have a backyard so close to the city. So I don't want to be too negative on it. Um, but we will be redoing our backyard, not re redoing our backyard. Sorry. Let me back up. One day we will do our backyard, but right now, um, we just had to replace all the HVAC systems in our house, which was a very large expense that we didn't know we were going to have to have. So we're postponing backyard renovations and we will just be sprucing up our deck, if you will. That'll come in a few months, but I'm excited to do that as well. So I'm not going to show you guys those places. So we'll end this video here. Okay, so that was it. That was our entire house tour. Um, like I said, there's still quite a few things that we want to do. I think next, of course, we're going to decorate the nursery. That's like the next step because obviously we're pregnant and we have to have furniture in there. Um, so that will be coming and then also decorating or not decorating, just minimally redoing our upstairs bathrooms because one day we might decide to rip everything out but right now it's fine just to do like a quick little update so those are probably the next two projects that you guys can expect from us um but yeah it's fun to share this um type of stuff with you guys so if you liked this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up i would also absolutely love if you guys subscribe to my channel and yeah there's a lot more home content where that's coming from um, and some also some vlogs that I've been filming as well. So yeah, I think that's about it. I have nothing else to say. So I'm just going to leave it at that and I'm sure I'll see you guys on my next video.